It's a difficult issue for families. We're talking about teen addiction, but there are resources available to help. Joining us now is Rafael Ortiz Gomez. He's the program manager for the Teen Recovery Center in Kearney Mesa with more on the services they offer to help get these young people on a better path. Thank you so much for spending time with us today. Thank you for having me. Thank you for people who want to know, what kind of programs and services do you offer for teens? Well, the North Central Teen Recovery Center, Center is a program under the Turn Behavioral Health Services uh, organization. We're a nonprofit organization. Um, we provide services um, to 12 to 17 year old youth in our community. We're funded by the Behavioral Health um, Services of San Diego County. Um, and yeah, we, the Turn is very passionate about reaching our youth in our community and providing service to them. What kind of like specific programs do they get in as teenagers? We provide individual and group counseling, um, case management, and family therapy. Since you're funded through the county, is it something that is paid for by the county? Do these teens that come in, are they responsible for any of the costs? No cost to the teens at all. Uh, primarily funded through Medi-Cal via the county. Okay. Um, we also do have early intervention uh, services. That's for youth that don't meet the diagnostic criteria for a substance use disorder, but are at risk of developing a substance use disorder. So they can either have Medi-Cal or private insurance. Some programs to interrupt the path to addiction you have as well. For sure, definitely. And one important aspect of our treatment services also includes pro-social activities. We believe that if we can engage youth in positive activities, such as sports, art, music, mentorship, um, employment, and developing import important, uh, uh, important living skills, that they have a better chance of long-term success. Why is it important to have a facility that's specifically designed and a program designed for those types of needs for teenagers as opposed to uh, just an overall program that's only about addiction? That's a great question. Well, I think most of us know that youth just learn differently, right? Their brain isn't fully developed yet mm -hmm. to the age of 25. They haven't experienced as, as much uh, maybe trauma or lived experience um, because we live in a society that, you know, has a safety net for them, right? So we have to approach it differently than we have, than we do with adults that have a long range of lived experience and trauma. If we get them as teens, is there a better chance that they won't become people who have a cycle of drug use? Do they stay sober and healthy if they start as teens as opposed to a life of just constantly going back out there and doing drugs? Yeah, that's another great question. Yeah, definitely. What we talk about often is like we plant seeds. So obviously the earlier we can plant seeds, the better results we're gonna get. So we start, we start when they're young, we start planted, planting seeds, and we don't always see a quick turnaround like that. I mean, it's just, it's a process. But often what happens is we plant these seeds and we don't see them come to fruition right away, but later on down, the, down their path, they, they remember and they say, man, I remember when I was in this program, I learned this skill, I learned this coping skill. I remember I felt like I, I was cared for, I was loved. And then they were able to lean into that and make changes at that time. What would you say to a parent who's out there if they have a child, a teenager, that they're concerned may be developing an addiction? What should they do first? Don't be afraid to ask for help. You know, that, parents, parents, a lot of time, we, we feel like we have to do it all on our, on our own, you know, and there's a stigma between, uh, uh, around substance use and mental health, and sometimes parents are just afraid to ask for help. So I would say asking for help is important. We're almost out of time. Is that something, though, can parents, can they reach out to TURN to get some information before getting their kids into the programs and services? Definitely. They can reach us. Our phone number is 760-227-1354. They can also reach us at the TURN Behavioral Health Service website, which is turnbhs.org, or through our social media on Instagram, we're North Central TRC, or Facebook, we're North Central Teen Recovery Center. Thanks for all that. And, and before we, we let you go, one thing I just wanted to get into is when you treat a teen, how important is it to get the whole family involved in that recovery effort? Super important. That's one of the main reasons why we offer family therapy, because this whole thing that we do is relational. So it's with the youth, with their family, and with the youth and their family. Rafael, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for the guidance, and thank you for what you're doing. We appreciate it. Thank you. It's the North Central Teen Recovery Center, and uh, you guys are doing good things. Appreciate it. Awesome. Heather?